All right, so we've done the update. As you can see, uh, remote controller firmware installed. Click on that X, click go fly. Hopefully this update has actually fixed issues being experienced. It's just a white wall. Let's see, click on control and gain and expo tuning. Nice, and that update fixes everything. Now we can adjust the speed, maximum horizontal speed, maximum ascent, maximum uh, descent, and um, sport. Um, it works in sport mode, works in normal mode, works in send mode. Send mode will actually slow down the drone. Actually, it's slower moving anyway, um, so I guess you can just have it go slower. So normal. Oh, wow, look at that. In the last video, two miles per hour was as slow as it can go. But in this one, it, could, it went the lowest was actually one. So that's actually great. Um, but I like to leave it at two. Leave that at two. And let's see, we'll put this at two. Um, maximum descent. I like to leave it at two from my last experience. And let's see, we'll put this at two. And angular velocity, we'll just leave everything as is. Ah, there's even a brake sensitivity. I'm not really sure what that will do. Um, a higher value indicates a shorter braking distance of the aircraft after releasing the pitch stick. The range extends from 10 to 150. Obviously, it's set to 100. So we'll just leave it like that and experiment with it and see. But I, there's no need. Uh, maybe in the, in the bigger field, I'll test it out. All right. So now that we've got that working, let's uh, have a look and see. We'll get, 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 take the drone outside and get it some GPS and see what happens. All right, so we're going to take off. We've got, okay, just click OK there. Um, lift the drone up and bring it forward a little bit. We've got GPS signal, which is great. It's a little windy. Let's see, maximum horizontal speed. Hmm. Interesting. Um, doesn't seem to be moving at one mile an hour. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's about one mile an hour. So that's the cap, as fast as it'll go. Um, it just seemed a little bit slower with the pro receiver at one mile an hour. Uh, this seems like standard speed, but works well. Let's see how fast it'll go if we move back. Yeah. So it actually is moving slower backwards, as you can see, than it is when you move forward. I mean, when you, when you move left to right. Left to right seems a little bit fast, but it still works. So let's try the, um, if we can adjust this in real time, or does the drone have to be on uh, or off the ground? So let's try, click on a little dongle thingy. Uh, click on Gain and Expo. And we're going to try the... Maximum descent speed, speed that up a little bit. Of course, there's a max that it can only go. Oh yeah, wow, works in real time, this is great. So we're gonna lower that a little bit. I always like, no matter what, that the drone comes down a little bit faster, and I mean slower, and goes up a little bit slower too. Maximum um, ascent speed, so we're gonna lower that. So that, yeah, nice, smooth transition. You gotta remember that if your drone's gonna be moving slower going down and slower going back up, you have to remember that you have enough battery for your trip back. Uh, most likely it won't. And if you're using these features, these features work well when you're shooting video right around the house. Look at that smooth transition. Um, so if that's the case, you know, you're not going to use all your battery. So what you want to do is also go back into safety and make sure that the, um, not the maximum altitude, but the return home altitude isn't so high for, you know, maybe right about there, 35, or maybe not even, right? Because you're always going to be shooting low for this particular kind of shoot when you're um, controlling the um, gain and expo tuning, right? So let's say I'm going to move a little bit. Oh, I need my house a little bit. Can you just make some nice video for me? Um, so, of course, it's moving forward. It's going to go up at a nice pace and go back see so going back it's moving slow but let's say you want the video and you can always change this in post-production so i'm going to move in 
and then I'm going to move to the right a little bit, and then stop, turn it, and then move a little bit towards, turn it a little bit. You can turn it while it's, look at that, smooth transition. Not so hard either, because remember, it's adjusting the speed, moving slow, and there I am. See that? Great for beginners, too. I'm going to move it back. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. Um, because as a beginner, you know, you, you don't really have full control of, of the slowness. Things just happen in real time. Look at that. And I can go up a little bit, pan it around, probably edit that in post-production, move up. This is really nice. Really nice. And then move back down. Really nice smooth transition that was a little jerky back there but you're never going to get this without this feature which is really nice look at that make a pan out and then zoom in and then bring it in and this could also look at that really nice um, it does move in the wind a bit it's a little windy today and that's it this is great Nice that DJI has fixed this universally for everyone. And I hope that you can have a better experience controlling the speed of your drone. I'm just gonna Oops, almost lost control there. I hope you, you know you enjoy and have a better experience controlling your drone um, for your videos. And if you have any questions or comments, Feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. And I'll see you all next time.